Welcome back to Valheim, my name is Nilaos and uh, we are going to make a bit of a change to the way this series works because this game is extremely grindy and in the first couple of episodes you can do most of it sort of in uh, on camera but at the point where I'm at now we will be going into some bit more grinding mode and therefore I will do this in a different way where I cut out a lot of things and then uh, then sort of focus on the most important part of the story. So this is where we are. We have uh, our two buildings. We have, uh, I've made a little fence because I had to spend a bit of time. Uh, we have uh, taken some, some boars here. They are, most of them are actually named after, well, well, why are they not? Some of them are named after, after the moderators in the Twitch chat. So that is excellent. Uh, we've made a little space here that we can use for, uh, for, uh, for what we want to do. Because what we want to do is we want to find a cave. Let's build a little fence around here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to head out. Oh, really? And uh, also another thing. Oops, that's... Oh, right. Someone just moved these around that, like... There. Right. So what we have in terms of equipment, we have the things that we have available at this point. We don't have any anything better than leather and a club, because the club will help us... Uh, the club will help us with the new skeletons. We have a... Well, all of these are upgraded to level 3, the ones that can, of course, so that we uh, have as good of a chance as possible to deal with it. And I am going to spend here, and I'm going to run out into the world, and what I want to do is I need to find... I need to find a... Crypt... No, a burial chamber. A burial chamber is full of skeletons, and the skeletons, they will... If we go through the crypt, then we can find some circling cores. Certain cores are needed in order for us to build the next thing we want to do, and that is a, a furnace, so we can start mining. Well, the thing is, we can mine with that one. The one we got from Aether. We can mine. We can mine the stone or the copper and tin, but we can't process it because that requires a furnace, and that's what we are going to be building. So we need to go out and grind, grind, grind. 10 certain cores and you get about like three to six from each of the crypts so i need to head out and find some crypts let's uh, meet up when uh, when i found a crypt and are ready to head in here we might have something so we saw a, i just saw a skeleton going up here and then the skeleton is fighting the great dwarfs and there's always like a thing if there's a skeleton there's a crypt uh, there not sorry it's not a crypt it's called a burial chamber so there we have it. Uh, there's also some great dwarfs around. These ones are a bit more tough. Let's let it uh, attack us. Lock. And we get a bit of... Yep. But they are... Okay, these green ones are super nice. Wow, this is, this is getting crowded here. That green one, uh, they, they're the worst. The shaman, uh, uh, they're not the worst. They are... Ah, healing. Go back. Okay, that one I want to avoid. Ah, I didn't quite avoid it. Boom, boom. There. The third strike is the one that actually deals the damage. There we go. We got all of that wrecked. We have up here a little ruin, maybe. Yeah, we got. That's fine. All right, we are ready to head into our first location we have food we have a bit of rested bonus left let's go in so the problem with this place is it's very dark i am actually going to do that one because i don't think we're going to use the bow as much the thing is also it's shelter so you can actually get your rested bonus back in here what do we have in here we have lots of yellow mushrooms and if you go into any dungeon the rule is always you go along one of the edges oh my god that's horrible there they're going to be needing three bashes, these ones. Okay, you... I will go left side around. Yeah? And just take it slowly. Just take... Okay, that's that was not very eventful. There we have, right in the background. That is a beautiful, lovely circling core. Oop. Go. That's what we need. We need ten of those. We'll see how many we get from this one. We'll switch back to the torch as much as possible so we can see what's going on. Always go left hand around. Well, you can go whichever way you want. It's just the way I want it. Yeah. Right. 
There. And that's another one. They usually... Oh, this is actually like this exactly the same type of room as the other one. This is back to our middle room. There's definitely some more dangerous things in there. Another one. That's three. That's already like average-ish. You see, there's also things on the ground. This is also another reason why we want to do... What? Uh, taking it up. Uh, these are valuables. Wow. Are we really going to get this much from... With no fighting? Really? That's... That's not very much fighting we got in here. And this this is an extremely small one. Wow. But quite profitable. We got four circling cores. Five circling cores. Great. And we have a lot of things that we don't care about. Uh, this are for vomiting voluntarily. That one, that one, that one. Uh, do we really want this? Let's switch back to that. And let's fire at least three arrows out. Cool. So that was one. We are going to try to see if we can find another one. I will, of course, mark this on the map. The map, as you can see, has evolved uh, a bit as well. Uh, BC Burial Chamber. It's important because there are also other things on this map. And those other things, uh, they are full, full of trolls. So we are going to continue running around here and uh, see if we can find one more Burial Chamber so we can get the five of those and also just get a bit more experience with how that's going to work. And here's an extra little tip: if you run out of uh, of time, <laughs> uh, then or if you if it gets night, then build a little house like this. I build a little bed. I build a little. It just has to be two by two, and uh, you can get attacked really a lot running around in the dark forest at night, and it's just a bit too dangerous. So, build a little campfire, build a little bed. You will get uh, rested four, which will give you should. 11 minutes. All right, so now we have 11 minutes more. We can run out and it's morning again because I rested, rested. and uh, we can repair our things because we put this one inside. So that means off we go. Hunt some more for another burial chamber. And here we are just finding our way and look at that in the background. That is a troll. Um, we are not gonna be super happy about trolls because they are kind of dangerous. So uh, let's, okay, they are a bit fine, they're a bit big, they are a bit dangerous, they will be throwing things at us. Uh, we need to take out all of this junk here so we can have clean shot at this. All right, this one, don't go into melee with it yet, but they are pretty stupid and you can shoot them and run around. Uh, just uh, manage your stamina a bit better than I do. And why are they not attacking each other? That would be really lovely if they did. Okay, so now we start a long and... Uh, oh. Okay, I am not getting stuck here. Really don't want to deal with all that crap here. Uh, these, All of these as well. The troll is the only thing that's really dangerous. The other ones are just annoying. And we'll just make uh, our life miserable while we do this. But it's all about managing your stamina. And just running. I wonder if we could be a bit cocky about this. And uh, Well, I can't, but whether it's a good idea is another thing. Uh, what can I do? Control this, like this. Take out the UI. Why do we want to take out the UI? Maybe we can get a good... Good thumbnail picture for it. <laughs> Ooh, is that copper? No. Right, let's put it back again, because that's... Oh, don't you dare try to sneak here. And now we also have a one star there. That's annoying. We can deal with all of that after we're done with the troll. But you can see we've done, we got it to half health at this point. That's just an incredible amount of spam here. I'm of the opinion that you can always take an infinite amount of these annoying things if you're not stupid. So that's uh It's a cove out here a bit so we can get a better angle for the troll. That's a troll, troll shot. Ah, the other ones in the way, they're blocking it and they're not actually fighting. Sometimes some of them are fighting each other. Apparently, the trolls and the great dwarves are friends. Oh, that's jamming. Don't want to be poisoned. What? What happened to my troll? Oh. 
What happened to my troll? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sneaky. Yeah, the deer, you might want to be staying out of that one. No? There we go, we got the troll. Okay, then switch over and deal with all the crap here. Stamina. Alright, head over to the troll. And you can see there's a lot of cool things. Oh, is that a copper deposit? Let's also mark that. And we have more. And it's raining and it's miserable and... Okay, and the green one, that's the poison, we don't, no, that's not the poison. Alright, I want to lure it into poison, that's the poison. Good. Alright, finally moving over to the troll. There we go, I can't even pick up the head. Oh, that one, that's the one star. You? Good. That parry is nice. And anything we don't want to keep around here? Yes, we got a troll trophy and we got some troll hide. Troll hide is used to make some new armor that's pretty good. Actually, uh, very, very good. It's called troll armor and it, uh, uh, yeah, it gets some sneak if you have a full set of it. Plus, it's nice and blue. So, that's a thing as well. What? Huh. A tower skeleton. Yeah, all these things don't really care about them. Some of these things I just ditch while we're here. Uh, Pukeberries don't want to have that. Yeah, so this is kind of what we have, and we are. Well, let's uh, let's let's continue our search. We got what we uh, we came here for. In well, we didn't, but we uh, we got our little something. We've been running around like idiots here. We did not find any uh, any additional locations but uh, we will continue our hunt for another barrel chamber because we need to get the five or the ten certain cores that we need to uh, to keep it to build up the next part we're also marking all the copper on the map because we might we're going to come back here for some copper mining later on and as you can see there there's just more spam everywhere it seems like when the, i was just hoping we could find one right here uh, another thing that's in this area is this, the thistle. We'll be using that for various recipes later. But let's uh, keep hunting and I'll be uh, coming back when I've found some interesting thing for us. An interesting dungeon. Here we are. We finally found it. That is lovely. Boom. Parry. Smash. Block. And smash. We finally found it! Yay! Alright, that's uh, one more of these locations. The one more burial chamber. First things first, mark it on the map. So we know where it is. Burial chamber. Oh, by the way, the other burial chamber that we found. Uh, where was that? Where was that? I have no idea. Did I forget to mark it on the map? I think I might, or maybe I've missed. I clicked it out or something. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Oh, that one. Oop, that gets a little cross across it. There. Now, we do have a problem, as you can see here. The um, the rest of the bonus is almost out. Our food is almost out. So we'll top up the food. Then we will look at that one. What do we need? We need five stones and two... Wood. I have two wood. I need two more, a couple more stones. Let's chop some stones here. Oh, that's apparently not a real stone. There. This is dealing a bit of damage. We have three. Seven. Good. That's what we need. Because then we can actually, we can get our rested bonus in here. We can actually get it in here because this is uh, covered. So, if we do this one, it will start uh, making everything toxic in here. So, that's that's a thing we have to keep in mind. But it's actually kind of nice to uh, to do this. 
And I'll be putting my torch over on this side. I'll be ditching that one. And we'll be taking the shrooms. So we know that we've taken the shrooms. I should really be getting my rested bonus soon. Come on, give me my rested bonus before I choke. There. Now I'm resting. Have to wait. And then we get uh, 10 minutes, I guess. We could build a bed if we had more things, but uh, the point is here. I want to take this out as soon as I get the rest of it. Oh, you get smoke. Damn. I don't think I get get rested when smoked. There, I could. Perfect. Um, smoked is kind of annoying. I think we can... What if we go out? Yes, there. And go back into the smoky area. Okay. See, that was... Uh, it's a bit of a... Bit of a thing, but we'll we'll do this. We got our rest of bonus and Whoppa Good. Smack smack smack. And we got more circling cores and a ton more everything else. Okay, there are some definitely some more dangerous things in here that we need to keep here. We can get starred skeletons, we can get like uh, toxic skeletons, they're really dangerous. And we can get uh, bone piles and we wanna see sort of the, some of the things that we can get here. So far, we've been extremely lucky with getting certain cores and nothing really is particularly dangerous. That is back to our home, our middle thing. Good. And we can go this way. That's a dead end. And this is an opening. And I go left first. Oh, that's, um, that's a ghost. I think we want to deal with that with, uh... What the hell? Something taking damage back there? Not me. Not the ghost, though. Yep. They are not able to get up here. The ghost... The archer is, though. So, boom. Now everything is lighting up because we shot some fire arrows. But we got the ghost. The ghost doesn't have anything. Ghosts somehow don't have inventory. I know, I know. It's... Yeah, that was that thing in here. Get into a more interesting location. There. And this thing here will tell us the location of. The Elder. So that will tell us the location of the next boss that we uh, can face. And it's really nice to find that. And once you found it, you don't really need it for anything. Because, well, that's just what this does. This tells us the location of the next boss. And we continue left. We want to clear this out. We have a total of 10. So we don't actually need to... Don't need to do it. But, you know, when you're in here, there's a lot of good things. And you also need more circling cores than this. This is just the absolute minimum to uh, to go home. But we want to get more than this. Hold on, can I? Yeah, I still have some inventory slots. It's a bit down. It is not an extra level. Uh, this thing here is dangerous, though. Uh, it might kill us. I think. Nope, it was not that. I thought it was uh, one of the toxic putrid skeleton or something. But it was not. It was just a little nothing here. Wow, this is... Okay, this is getting a bit bigger. Let's go back to the torch. And it wasn't getting bigger. It was just a little dead end down here. And go up again. And continue with our left hand, our shield on the wall. And then we will inevitably go back to our location. Hoppa. Oh, that's a star one. There. Perfect. Ooh. Sounds like there's something in here. Nope. Nothing in here. A chest of useful things. Definitely don't want... I don't care about these uh, these things. I'll get the mushrooms. More mushrooms. More mushrooms. But nothing else in here. Good. Continue. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And... You want to be having your lights out in this room because there's usually stuff 
It is. And I have a door there. Okay, this is the last door we have. Smash, smash, smash. Smash, smash, smash. Smash, smash. Switch. And more stuff on the ground. Yep, some amber. Amber and gold and rubies are used to trade with the merchant that you will find later on in the dark forest somewhere, but pretty far away, usually. And uh, we'll, we'll look to get to that, what you can buy at that location. And that means we now have completed this location. We have exactly 10. That is absolutely perfect. And the only thing we need to do now is pop our uh, Ithor thing and then run the hell back to uh, our home base because that's the objective now. Which way is it? This way. Pop it and run. Get back at the base. Ooh, blueberries. We are home. We rested. It's morning, but uh, the weather is not exactly with us. It's still miserable weather. So, uh, but that should not stop us from actually getting our work done. What we want to do is we want to build some things. I'm gonna build. Uh, have to build a little uh, workbench out here. Missing requirement: wood. Hmm. Okay. If only we had like tons of wood here. Oh wait a minute. We do. Why are we not picking it up then? Oh, because we're carrying too much then. Yeah, but that's okay. We'll be using this. This one needs to go here. I will then be taking some stones that I've also put out here. Uh, no room in inventory. Eh, well, put that in here and pick that up. That's carrying too much. And that allows us now to build the two things. This is a... Uh, let's start with that one. This is a... Building furnace. We'll build it over here. Boop. And we'll build the other thing. That is a smelter. That will be built over here. And then I think this one has to be built a bit further away. Let's go make sure we get everything right up. There, that's that's where we want to build it. Cool. Okay, so what are these things? Well, the first is... Let's get some wood. This is a charcoal kiln. So we put wood in and it'll become... It'll become coal. Spit it out here as coal on the other side. And this one, we have an input for coal. We have an input for metal over here. Uh, okay, I guess I'll take that out. And we have an input for metal. And then out uh, spits the smelted metal here. So that's uh, what we want to do. Uh, we don't have wood in our inventory. So what I can do is just do that one, that one, and pick up some coal, put the coal in here. And then we'd, all we need is some metal that we don't have, but we uh, we're, that's going to be one of the next things is going into the going back into the black forest because the first time into the black forest we are there to get the certain cores to build the kiln and the, the smelting furnace. Once we have that, we now can do some runs back and forth to do some to haul a bit of uh, to haul some some copper and some tin so we can make bronze and that we can get better weapons better armor better everything that will enable us to move further into the game uh, so we can't really get much better with all we have here we need to definitely need to bring some bronze and now we have the first thing in order to get the bronze we also made our first troll and we can start making some troll armor if we want that i'm gonna wrap this one up here i think this is a good space to end it we've been uh, bashing some killing some Poking some troll, uh, poking a troll, and uh, bashing some skeletons, and got the certain cause and uh, the enabler for the next tier of this uh, journey. Thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying it, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section if there are some glaring errors or things that I should do better. One thing I already know is the troll was standing by a cave, a troll cave, but we never got into a troll cave. I don't think it has anything more than a few coins, but it it might be a thing that I kind of forgot. So I'll be back next time. Until then, take care and stay effective.